everyone, welcome back to Saturday night's Croctober for October in the Crockpot. So yes, what? Dog food in the Crockpot? Absolutely, we're going natural, we're going wholesome, we're changing it up, we're on a new journey with our dog Kip, and you got to see some pictures in front of this video of him, and you got to see the one where he's staring at me, yes. He knows I'm making food and he wants it, but he can't have it yet. So we're making chicken stew in the crock pot. Everything that's going in here is edible for dogs and edible for people. But no salt, no seasonings, no onions, no garlic, no sugar, plain, plain, and then more plain. But this is what a dog needs. They say to, they highly recommend a rainbow of colors and a rainbow of textures, if you will. So right now I have a big crock pot full of carrots. Carrots my dog does not like, but shh, don't tell him it's in the stew. Because when we get all done with this, it'll all be mushed together. He'll never know the difference. He has been loving the new food that he is on. If you hear that clunking in the background, that's a brand new ice machine that I just got. So sorry for that noise. So here's what we're gonna put in. I'm gonna show you first what we're doing. Is there a recipe to this? Yes, in my head. So what have we done? We took him to the vet because he was losing hair constantly on his back. The vet went through allergies. Yes, he has allergies. We've been through the allergy regime of medicines and all that. We've done the coconut oil on his skin. That has helped tremendously. But now it seems to be the dog food, dry dog food, I don't care how good the dog food is that you get, it's not always the best depending on your dog. And for our dog, we need to change it up. Not saying what you're doing is wrong, but for us, we were recommended to change it up. So by different in, uh, influences of vets and what they've told us and our own research and all that good stuff, we're coming up with chicken stew for him. I have a couple more recipes coming out next week that will not be crock pot meals, but this one is in the crock pot. So we have some red beans that we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be putting beans are excellent for your dog, good color. We've got garbanzo beans. Again, no salt, no flavorings. We've got some raw chicken we're putting in the crock pot. I have the carrots, obviously. We've got some red and green peppers we're putting in. We're putting in some tomatoes. Flaxseed is excellent for your dog. We're going to be putting in flaxseed. I have a bag of strawberries that I had in the freezer. We're going to be dumping strawberries, strawberries, blueberries, bananas, peaches, pears. I did not know pears. And pear juice is excellent for sinus problems. Dog has allergies, he has sinus problems. Pears are excellent. So tonight we gave him butternut squash pasta along with some pear juice. He ate it like there was no tomorrow. He was in doggy heaven. So we're also going to be adding, I don't know if I said couscous already, we'll add that. And then I also have some bone broth. These are the packets you can take and pour into a cup. Make yourself a cup of bone broth or like hikers take this, I guess, with them. I don't know, that's what they show on the package. But anyway, if you're on the keto diet, you know that bone broth definitely is an excellent source. And they, everybody we've talked to, we've listened to the research, they keep telling you bone broth, bone broth, and more bone broth for your dog. So we're doing that. We are also going out tomorrow to get omega-3 oils and also a food supplement vitamin to add to his foods. So we've been doing this for about 10 days now, but we also need to get those two things. You can use sardines and tuna salmon, fish like that for the omega-3, but we're going to just get the drops, add it to the food when we feed him, as well as the supplements so he has a fully balanced diet. And um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is dump it all in my crock pot. We're gonna turn it on low, cook it through the night, bring it back tomorrow morning, let you see what it looks like. I'd offer you some, but sorry, Kip's got full dibs on this pot in my crock pot tonight. So. Come on over and I'll show you what it looks like in the crock pot. All right. Okay, so as you can see, I have my carrots in the crock pot. Let's just go ahead and dump the peppers. I've got green and red bell peppers. 
Peppers are excellent. You do not want to give them garlic or onions. Fork here, spread that out. I'm going to put in the, um, the couscous. Sprinkle that around. Good fiber for them. Let's just go ahead and add the chicken to this. Again, plain chicken, nothing else added to it. As much as I want to season this, I cannot be doing that. Let's add some tomatoes. Put that in there. We've got chickpeas or garbanzo beans. We're going to add some red beans in there. We're going to add some flaxseed in here. I'm going to do two spoonfuls of that. to add strawberries to this. Now this you know will cook down. Let's add our bone broth to this. I'm going to sprinkle that in amongst the little pockets here so it gets all the way down to the bottom. You could use vegetable broth. You could use any kind of broth you want. Now, when I do my bone broth, I know it's not just for us. It's also for the pup. Okay, so this is nice and full. This is wonderful. I'm going to add. This will make some of its own juice because of the strawberries and because of the chicken that's in it. But I'm also going to add some more water to it to make extra juice and to also help those beans. All right, there we go. There we go. This is for Crocktober. In October, we're doing Crock-Pot Chicken Stew for our dog, Kip. We're gonna turn this on low, put the lid on it. That will cook down, and I'll bring you back in the morning and let you see what it looks like. Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, so through the night, we have cooked our chicken stew for our puppy, Kip, and we have made dog food in the Crock-Pot. And let's take a look and see what we've got. All right, here we go. I did turn it off because it was actually oozing on the counter. But let me stir this up. You can see, look at this. The darkness of this is probably due to the strawberry juice, which is not a problem. Plus, I have beef broth in there. But look at this. Look at that wholesomeness. Does that not look del I mean, this looks good enough for us to eat. Okay, let me scoop it up and then let you see what that looks like. Does that not look like a normal stew? All right, let's talk about what's in here. Okay, so we did put carrots. See if I can remember everything we put in here. I put carrots, I put barley, I put couscous. No, I didn't put barley. I put carrots and couscous. I put green and red peppers. I put chickpeas, I put kidney beans, I put chicken, I put flaxseed. That's what I put in there. And I think that was about it. I can't remember everything, but I tell you what I will do is in the description below. This is not my recipe out of a cookbook or something like that. This is out of my brain of things that we had in the house. So I will put in the description below what I put in here. And we're going to put this in a bowl. Let this cool probably for a couple of hours on the counter until it's room temperature. We are then going to put it through our blender. He is not good with chunks. Our dog is very sensitive. So we're going to not puree it, but chop it up quite a bit. And then I'm going to put just a small amount for the next day or two in the refrigerator. And then the rest I'm going to freeze. Because like us, you know, he gets tired of eating the same old, same old. He's a very fussy dog. But we'll put this in the freezer in Ziploc bags and I'll fill like a sandwich quart size bag, lay them flat in the freezer and freeze it up. And then when I need to, I just take out one or two, put them in the refrigerator overnight and defrost them. How will I serve this to him? Possibly plain like this. I might even hard boil an egg and crumble some of that on top or have some scrambled egg to put on top. We might mix it up with some rice to bulk it up or some pasta to bulk it up. So they're just some ideas. We're also heading out right now to go pick up some things at the pet store for him. One will be omega-3 oil and also a food, a daily food supplement that we will be adding to this. 
You can also add peanut butter powder. You can also add some protein powder. There's all kinds of things that you can do. So thanks for coming by on my Croctober October. And I hope you enjoyed this delicious chicken stew recipe for your dog as well in the crock pot. Healthy, all regular food. Oh yeah, strawberries, hello. We forgot, I even, even put the strawberries in there. So I will have that in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this. At the end, I'll have a couple more pictures of Kip. You can enjoy that. And stay tuned for next week. I'll have a, a few up and coming recipes as well on some other alternatives to dog food that are not in the crock pot, but make, uh, might make some uh, ideas for you as well. Thanks so much for coming by. We'll catch you on the next video.